to use the snap ray, we'll take the film. There's a dot right here. We we'll put the dot in the slot. Put it right up to the edge of the snap ray. Slide this in. And then I'll put it into the patient's mouth. They will close down like this. And then you will now be ready to take the x-ray. So you would put your x-ray tube right there and expose the x-ray. That would be for the upper. Now for the lower you just loosen this out, get a new film, and then put it back in here. Okay. Notice there are two parts. There's a wider part for them to bite on and then this part is always on the inside. So the film goes in like this always in the snap array. And then they'll bite in lower as opposed to going in like this. This is the wrong way. You want this part to be always on the outside. Like this. Okay, so now you put this in here. You have them bite. And you're ready to expose from here. Okay. Now, for the front teeth, you will take the, the film, put it in the snap array like this, and the, and the opposite end of it. Center this on the canine right here. Have them bite, and the x-ray will come down this way right here. Now, usually we won't use the snap array for the anterior because we have a better way of using the paralleling technique with the XCPs. But if we had to, this is what we would do. And for the centrals, you would just center it on the centrals like this. The x-ray would come down this way at the right angle. Then for this canine right here, it would go right there. For the lower teeth, you would just flip this, the snap ray this way. And the x-ray beam would now come up from here. So you would shine the light right there. And so on. There's this form you could print off from your from our website and it tells you the angles at which the x-ray light should be coming, the, the x-ray beam should be coming. So I'd advise you use these these angles and this is a guide. Thank you.